Hello dear friends uh, this is our Rajkumar from CR Sketech Java so in this session uh, i am going to show you how to uh, integrate weblogic 10.3 application server with uh, my eclipse ide so uh, in the last session we had seen how to uh, install weblogic 10.3 application server and how to create own domain in weblogic 10.3 application server so in this session i am going to teach you how to integrate weblogic 10.3 application server with uh, my eclipse ide okay so the third third this is the third video so the third step how to integrate the logic application server with my eclipse id okay so that i will show you now uh, okay how to integrate that so you watch carefully this video so okay before that uh, you must install the logic uh, server and uh, you must create a domain so both we have done already successfully we have created we have installed the logic 10.3 server application server and we have created a domain also the domain name crsketech we have created successfully everything that uh, in last session in last video i showed you how to do that in this session okay we will see this how to integrate the logic 10.3 application server with my eclipse id okay so uh, listen carefully and uh, it will help you more uh, okay uh, to you to integrate uh, how to integrate the logic server with my eclipse id you watch carefully so what you have to do you have to start uh, my eclipse now my eclipse id click start button all programs so i have installed already my eclipse so expand the my eclipse folder and click on my eclipse 10 so click on my eclipse start my eclipse so okay you you know you know how to install my eclipse uh, id so because i uploaded one video how to install my eclipse uh, in your system that you watch and install my eclipse in your system if you have not installed already okay so if you have installed already then open my eclipse start my eclipse then the workspace location whatever workspace location suppose uh, i given crsk tech uh, workspace location or i want to in e drive i want to create a uh, separate folder uh, for example uh, crsk soft okay the workspace location you have to provide so where you want to save your project whenever create project in my eclipse id all the project i want to save in this location that is a workspace location so you provide any location wherever you want to save your project you provide the location i want to save my project under e drive uh, under crsk directory i want to uh, under under crsk soft directory i want to store my all projects so i given door space path click on ok button so now the eclipse will start so then we will see how to integrate uh, weblogic 10.3 application server with my eclipse id once if you integrate weblogic server with my eclipse then you can develop a web application uh, an enterprise application distributed application in your my eclipse id using my eclipse id you can develop those application uh, but uh, you need application server to run those applications so uh, so that that's why we have to integrate up, uh, that application server with my eclipse okay so now so my eclipse we have opened successfully so now we will see how to integrate the weblogic 10.3 application server with the my eclipse id okay so first click on window menu then here you can see preferences window just click on that here you can see my eclipse expand the my eclipse this is my eclipse expand the my eclipse okay after expand my eclipse you can see that servers option under my eclipse you can see servers so click on servers expand servers under servers you can see the web logic see the web logic just expand the web logic this is a web logic so under web logic you can see the version lot of person 6 7 8.x 9.x 10.x 11.x 12.x now we have installed 10.3 so it will come under 10.x okay just click on web logic 10.x just select web logic 10.x then following window will appear in right side once if you select web logic 10.3x uh, sorry once if you select web logic 10.x then uh, the following window will appear in right side okay so first you have, there are two option enable disable you have to enable click you have to select on enable red, enable okay select enable radio button then where you have installed uh, that uh, web logic 10.3 that home directory you have to select okay so click on close button then where we have installed the logic 10.3 click on my computer in g drive so under g drive you can see that folder see the ba10 so here i have installed it. so select the home directory folder then click on ok button see it came so here what are the information you have to provide 
administration username, whatever username password you have given uh, when you install the weblogic server that you have to provide. So CRSK tech I given username, password I given CRSK tech only. So CRSK tech. Okay. So that you must provide what when you install weblogic server, whatever username password you have given, same thing you have to provide here. Okay. So next the uh, the execution domain root that you have to browse. Okay. So click on browse button where we have installed the weblogic server you, you can browse from that location g drive under g drive ea10 so under ea10 user projects ok so under user projects you can see domain so under domain you can see crsk tech the domain name i given crsk tech so you can see that click on ok button so you have selected it so next uh, uh, execution server name whatever server name you have provided i given crsk tech server that you provide crsk tech server then security policy file it will come automatically you no need to change anything so first you have to select on enable radio button then select the ba home directory where you have installed the project 10.3 uh, application server okay then username password you have to provide then uh, this uh, you have to browse okay where is that uh, domain okay next uh, server name you have to provide uh, so this these things you have to provide then click on apply button that's all right so after click on apply button then come here weblogic 10.x expand weblogic 10.x you can see jdk launch path 3 option you can see under weblogic 10.x so click on jdk so now after click on jdk option you can see the add button so in add button you can see the add button in right side window so click on add button so here after click on add button the jre home uh, it will come another window so you have to select on directory button click on directory button then here where you have installed weblogic 10.3 there you can browse that jdk so click on my computer so we have installed uh, that uh, weblogic server under g drive under g drive b e a b e a 10 click on that here you can see jdk 160 underscore 5 under b e a 10 you have to select and click on ok button So it came, then click on finish button. See now JDK 160 underscore 5. It came. So after that, click on apply button. So next, okay, come to left side window, left side under weblogic 10.x JDK we done under launch. Click on launch. And here debug mode is here. You select on run mode. In right side window you select on in left side you select on launch button in right side window you select on run button then click on apply button so after click on apply button then select ok button after select ok button the preference window will disappear then that's all right you can uh, then you can develop application uh, web application enterprise application distributed application timing application any application or uh, the application whatever application you want you can develop in my using my clip ID then you can run that application using that which uh, application server you have deployed uh, you have integrated you, using that application server you can run that so click play button click ok button so it disappear here see this option so which project you want to run select on the project over then okay here option is there main okay so which if you want to start weblogic 10.x server click the start button and if you want to manage the deployment so server you have to select which server you want to use to run the application select the server here the option will come mean uh, which uh, project you want to run under this uh, application server you select the server and select the uh, project and click ok to run so this uh, okay so this is a uh, this video it will help you more how to integrate weblogic application server with my eclipse ide once you integrate then you can start to develop application you can run uh, that application using that application server so uh, we will see that uh, how to create a uh, web application, how to create enterprise application, how to create distributed application using my Eclipse IDE. Then how to run that application using that uh, 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 any uh, application server, which application server you have integrated with my Eclipse uh, using that application server you can run that application. That we will see later. Okay. So you, okay. So this video you watch carefully and integrate uh, that project server in your uh, uh, my Eclipse IDE. Then okay, you can run any application using that. Uh, application server so thank you for watching uh, okay
if you have any doubt any query related to that you don't okay feel free to drop uh, mail to me uh, so i will check it uh, once then i will reply to you uh, so if you okay so watch my videos and sh share my videos to your friends and uh, subscribe my channel if you have any doubt anything uh, so you drop a mail so i will check it once and then i will reply to you as much as possible i will help you so thank you for watching So now that uh, three we have done successfully. First session we did how to install WebLogic 10.3 application server. In second session we we did how to create own domain in WebLogic 10.3. In third session uh, we we did how to integrate WebLogic 10.3 application server with Maya Clips. So this three is important. Okay. Then uh, you can develop any application. You run that application using that WebLogic server. So in this, this is my blog spot. I will update. Uh, I didn't update uh, 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 means few days. Uh, so I will update all the software and uh, all the tips, uh, whatever document you want, whatever material you want. I will update in this blog spot. You can get it from this blog spot. Uh, this is my mail ID. If you want to drop any mail, you can uh, drop a mail to this mail ID. If you have any queries, any feedback, anything, you can drop. So if you are not understand that uh, video, also you can uh, drop a mail. I will okay. Uh, I will put upload another videos. Okay, so thank you for watching, for your support, thank you.